Turning back to that Storm Team 44 weather alert, our team has been tracking the threat for severe weather for a few days now, so storms are possible overnight. And Storm Team 44 meteorologist Jonathan Weaver is tracking the latest timeline. Jonathan? Yeah, we're definitely keeping our eye to the sky. There is a tornado watch up to our north, our northern counties, also a severe thunderstorm watch. For two of our northern counties, we'll get to that in a second. We're calling this a threat day for the rest of today, up until midnight, tornado watch in effect for Clay, Richland, Lawrence counties. And throughout the first half of your Tuesday that we're forecasting the possibility of s numerous severe thunderstorms. Here's the watch map. So again, Clay, Richland, Lawrence counties, tornado watch in effect up until midnight. Then we have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for Knox and Davies counties up until 3 a.m. Uh, local time. So there's a warm front out to our north. Some of those storms may sag its way down to the south as we go through the overnight hours. So we'll keep an eye on the sky for you. I'll be here until about 2 a.m. Gunner will come in a little bit earlier also. Uh, he's doing the 5 a.m. show tomorrow, so he's going to come in earlier, and we're going to be on the watch for all you, all you guys. Tornado is a possibility, large hail, high winds, some localized flooding is a possibility. But right now, we're looking pretty good. Live Storm Team 44 Doppler radar. This isn't rain. We just turned up the intensity around the radar site to track the storms that are to our north, and we'll show you that in a second. Right now in Evansville, Lloyd Expressway, cloudy skies, almost a summer-like feel out there. Temperatures are very, very warm, 74 degrees. It feels muggy, too, because the dew point temperature is made into the 60s, so, you know, the sweat factor is out there if you went for a run today. Lower 70s to around 70 in Owensboro, 73 in Newburgh, 72 up in Washington, 71 in Mount Carmel, and Princeton, we're forecasting temperatures to be in the middle 60s throughout the overnight hours. So we'll stay warm and muggy. Here's, we're zooming you out because I'm showing you the storms that seem to be fizzling out as they go up and along I-70 there. So again, our northern counties are on the fringe of this warm front, Clay, Richland, Lawrence counties, tornado watch in effect until midnight, Knox and Davies, uh, severe thunderstorm watch in effect up until 3 a.m. So watch means we just gotta be aware uh, it looks like a lot of these storms are starting to die down. I don't want to tell you not to worry about it. I want you not to freak out about it as you he we head into the overnight hours. So get some rest. But if you get up in the middle of the night a couple times like I do, check out the window. Maybe leave the TV on in another room and watch our weather crawl at the bottom of the screen so you can be weather aware of what's going on. We, the storm system seems to be following I-70 up to the north and east. So here's future cast. So as we go throughout the overnight hours, we're forecasting that eventually a cold front, and we're tracking it, will move east through our area. So it look, we have the chance for s storms tonight. We'll keep our eye on the sky for you. Throughout the day tomorrow, the first half of the day, probably up until lunchtime, we still have a chance for seeing some pop-up severe storms. We'll say mainly a strong chance uh, in our counties east of Evansville. So again, we'll keep our eye on the sky for you. The cold front, it's going to be a strong cold front. We'll eventually move through as we go through the later hours of your Tuesday. And man, when you see the seven-day forecast, it's going to be drastically colder. 66 tonight, some storms will be possible. Throughout the day tomorrow, 75, some scattered thunderstorms. Mainly east, possibility of them being severe too, so that's why tomorrow is a threat day on the all-important seven-day forecast. Then we really cool you off. So the cold front moves through, the cold air filters into our area, high temperatures staying in the 50s. Look at these low temperatures, Ben and Elegant, right back into the 30s to around freezing, looks like on Saturday morning. So, man, you know, that roller coaster temperature ride just keeps coming. But right now, we're going to keep our eye on the sky for you. The chances seem to be diminishing, but we want to be vigilant and keep you weather aware. Download our Storm Team 44 app so you get the latest updates and dings or buzzes when uh, a watch or warning comes into effect.